instead of being a bag of hot air. <laughs> dad jokes. We have dad jokes. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Moto Photo Adventures. You know, our friends Ben and Mary over at Moto Camp Nerd have this great saying. It says, pack small, camp easy. And I think it's a great motto. It's the little things that really make camping life on a motorcycle extra fun. You've already probably seen our video. We got a lot of great comments when we reviewed the uh, widget from Exped. Uh, Steve did a great job didn't lose his breath too much. <laughs> but it's a really neat product and we love carrying this uh, little widget with us when we're camping. It inflates our sleeping pads, takes care of a lot of different things, helps us uh, charge our batteries at night, and uh, is a little flashlight or little light that we can hang in our tent. So we really like it overall. It's a neat little product. But we were wondering, well, what happens if we have to camp several days in a row and forget to charge it on our bike? How do we inflate our sleeping pads then? Yes, we can go back to the old school way of just <gasps> But, you know, if you're at elevation or at the end of a long day, it really takes a lot out of you to do, do that for, you know, 20 or 30 minutes, especially with the bigger pads that we carry. So I wanted to experiment with this new product from Big Agnes called the Pump House Ultra. And I want to share this with you guys because I think this is a winning combination. I'll still carry my little XPED widget with me, but if it's out of juice or I forget it at home or what have you, I'll always have this Pump House Ultra for inflating my sleeping pad as a backup. The really cool thing about it is that I can also use it as a stuff sack for my sleeping pad. So it's not like I'm carrying something extra. I'm actually making this double duty. You're going to love it. Check this out. So here we are at beautiful Brittlebank Park on the shores of the Ashley River in Charleston, South Carolina. And this is basically kind of my uh, camp setup when I'm traveling on my motorcycle. You would think I'm kind of a Big Agnes fan, although I have one <laughs> Nemo Philo pillow that I absolutely love. So Nemo is kind of in my mix. I can't quite get myself to tear away from that. In fact, if you're curious about the Nemo Philo Pillow Elite, we do have a video about that, so you can check that out. And in fact, we have a video about my Copper Spur tent, which is absolutely fantastic and perfect for motorcycle camping. It's really designed for bicycle camping, but really a great tent for motorcycle camping. Today, what I really wanted to show you is how to inflate this Rapid SL. Another Big Agnes product, which I absolutely love, and again, was a great recommendation from the guys at Moto Camp Nerd. It's a fantastic little camping pad, way more comfortable than my previous model, and almost as small. So you can see it's a really compact size, but it's a good three and a half inch pad, and the surface of this material is really, really cool. Of course, when it comes from the factory, it does come with its own little self-inflating little baffle here. I find these kind of useless. Here you are all equally worthless. Now normally, as we displayed in the little widget video, we would use the widget to just use the motor inside it, pump this up a couple of seconds and we're done. However, if you forget the widget, or you don't have it charged up for some reason. This is a great way to do the self-inflation using natural air. Bring out the Pump House Ultra. This is a really, really neatly designed product. It's super, super lightweight. Basically kind of a ripstop nylon material. It is waterproof. And I'm gonna show you in a minute how I'm gonna double it up where I'm gonna make use of it even when I'm not using it to inflate my pad. But the primary purpose is to inflate the pad, and all you have to do is uh, open the valve on this end. And it snaps right into place on the valve on the Rapid SL. You just open it up like that. Give it a breath of air if you wish. 
Now when you're using this, if it's a nice breezy day, all you have to do is hold that open a little bit and you can wrap it up. Really works great. It does have some nice stiffeners up here at the top. You can see the little clips. I'll show you those in a minute. But again, just a nice breeze and you can close the bag. If there is no breeze, you can just quick little puff of air over the top and that just draws the natural air from the outside in. Now a couple of cool things I'll mention as we approach the finish here. Number one is the Repeat SL has uh, two valves. One's an input, one's an output. When you're pumping it up, you don't have to worry about air coming back out. Uh, it's automatically gonna close itself as you push air in. So at this point, it's not deflating itself. It's just waiting for me to push in the last little bit of air. And also, it has a really cool little release valve. So if you overinflate it, you can drop the air pressure down just a little bit once you get it comfortable. So I personally like to overinflate just a touch and then touch the valve to gently release the amount of air until I feel it's just right. <sighs> pop that off and as you can see no air is coming out it's nice and tight super super uh, over inflated in my opinion I like mine a little bit soft and then as you finish inflating it there's a little red valve right here and you can press it to gently reduce the amount of uh, air inside and get it to the exact perfect pressure close that up Bob's your uncle and, and Bob's your uncle how easy was that? I mean, come on, it sure beats blowing all of your own air into the pad. Plus, of course, if you're blowing your own air from inside your lungs, it's this hot, humid air. Using the Pump House Ultra, you're getting the natural ambient air in there. So you're not gonna have to worry about mold over the years of use of your pad. And of course, the pad is already at room temperature when it's full. Now, what else is this thing good for though? That's a great use all by itself. But in order to really keep your compact kit, you need everything to have multiple purposes. One cool thing is you can use this for a stand-up shower at your camp. It is waterproof inside and out. So you close the little cap, fill it with water, click the little strap together, hang it from a tree, pop this open, get under it, get all wet, close it, soap yourself down, open it again, rinse yourself off. Another really cool part about it is that it is a dry bag. So if you're gonna go out for a canoe trip or something and you wanted to take something lightweight that you could put your phone and your uh, sandwich and all that good stuff in without it getting wet, throw it in there. Got the little lips just like a regular dry bag. Roll that up a couple of times, click it together, and now all of your gear is safe. Now for use number three, what I'm personally gonna try and do is I'm gonna take my Big Agnes Diamond Park 15, which is my absolutely favorite sleeping bag that I have ever owned, and put it in the Pump House Ultra and use this as my compression sack. So I can get rid of the rather large bag that comes with the Diamond Park 15 and make extra use of the Pump House Ultra. I've never done this before, so you'll get to see if I can make this work or not right here live. But before we go to that, please give us a like Share this video, subscribe to the channel. We love giving you guys tips and tricks on little things that we think work well for our camping trips. We hope you like them too. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bam! Work like a champ. <laughs>